talking about this idea of high streets and healthy high streets, the news is full of stories of closing shops. We have a number of important retailers in the room today, and we hear these frightening statistics that when the vacancy rate gets to a certain point in some of these high streets, we reach a tipping point, and they literally collapse upon themselves. That has quite devastating impacts on local communities, safety, and, and everything else. Where does Boots fit into all this? Why, why do you care, and what is it that we might do together in this space? So, so absolutely, this is, this is absolutely the core of what we believe in. You know, the bringing together of community leadership with the future of High Street is at the core of our business because at the end of the day, uh, we've seen through the Seeing is Believing visits last year that collaboration and partnership gives us the answers. You know, I think the High Street's changing quickly. As you say, there's been much commentary about how people see this. And what was really clear to me, when we brought the, the teams back together in December, actually six months after the Seeing is Believing visit, what was most powerful was how sustained the work had been. Because, of course, it's fantastic to hear from colleagues in the room how the visit itself was. But what really struck me was six months on, and we actually met as a team around the table a couple of weeks before Christmas, which is a busy time for shopkeepers. And what really came across was how much internally each of the businesses had taken action as a result of the time down in Croydon last June. So given this significant need for change, I, I just took away really two things. The first thing is, we can't just describe the need for change. We've got to really reach out and recognize those that are leading the way. And those are local leaders, local teams, town teams, who are showing us the way of what's possible. And I think what came out of Croydon last year, and what we came back to in December was, there's some fantastic local leadership going on that's inspiring and we need to listen to and really act upon. The second thing is, there's a need for a new level of collaboration not just amongst the retailers, but amongst every element of the local, local community. And we've seen fantastic success with that starting to come through. There's lots still to do, clearly. There's, and there's many towns across the UK where this approach needs to take you know, even greater hold. But for us as an organization, we've learned lots from what happened last year. We're really committed to it. And most of all, we've seen the power of local leadership making a really big difference.